My name is Nathan Perez. I like to play baseball. My favorite team is the Cubs. I play right field. Uh, Nathan does have a chronic illness. He was diagnosed at a young age, about three or four, with what's called Peri-Romberg syndrome. Peri-Romberg syndrome is a condition where there's uh, progressive shrinkage and degeneration of uh, tissues beneath the skin. It's usually, it usually affects uh, half side of the face. He lived with his mother uh, where he was exposed to some uh, physical abuse and mental abuse. Once he started living full time with myself, things started to kind of peek its head out and I wasn't really good at identifying what it was. I would say I want to like hurt myself. I felt anxious, scared, nervous. I'm a firefighter paramedic for the County of San Bernardino. Every day I go to work and people call 911 and I have the answers to everything. No matter what it is, I can show up and fix it. This was the first time in my life where I did not have the answer. And I turned to the MEND program for help. MEND is a family systems approach, so um, it's very important for us to get the whole family involved. It kind of creates a better, not just functional system, but a health support for the child. This was something that we created. This was a new way of seeing and thinking about patients with chronic illness who were struggling emotionally because of it. Nathan had already gone through a couple of programs. It was the inpatient and the extensive outpatient. And then we began the MEN program. I felt nervous being around other kids. and just felt nervous in general. When he first came um, to us, he was pretty depressed and had a hard time making friends, had been bullied pretty badly. During the process of him being in the program, there were ups and downs, which is to be expected. I was really nervous, uh, but as the program went along, I could not have been proven any more wrong. It played a huge part in Nathan's uh, treatment and getting him back on track. Every single day, I think I saw a step forward for Nathan. By the end, it was, it was a whole new kid and a very, very positive experience. And that was really cool is to see his confidence grow and his self-esteem grow. The MEN program helped me to um, get through my feelings and talk about my feelings to my parents and let my parents know more about me. And that's, I think that helped a lot. I couldn't, can't be happier with, with the outcome that we had from the MEN program. Loma Linda, the Seventh-day Adventist community, was always a part of my upbringing at a time when Nobody else was there uh, for the tribe. Loma Linda was always there. Growing up on the reservation, uh, it was a hard life. And, um, you know, it was at a time where uh, there was a lot of racism that was going on. And I learned how to have empathy and compassion for others who were less fortunate. And I remember going through the tour uh, at BMC and seeing a lot of the work that the kids were working on in, in making themselves whole again. I mean, I thought, well, this would be a great way for me to be involved with Loma Linda since it was something that I was passionate about and to be able to bring um, stability to, to children who might need a little bit of help and coaching and mentoring coming along. That just started my, uh, my relationship with Loma Linda and BMC and, and mental health altogether. Thanks to Ken Ramirez's support, we've been able to first of all, help a lot of families. There's a lot of families that received access to men directly through scholarship donations that he has made. Spending time with the kids themselves in the programs on Wednesdays and seeing what it was that they were doing and how they interacted with each other, the, uh, the laughter and the, uh, the fun that they were having that um, they might not have ordinarily had if it wasn't for this program to come in and, and participate, but not just the child, to see the family come together. Those were some of the best moments that I've that I've had with the MEN program. We did a cost-benefit analysis study and we were able to show that by investing in this specific intervention of MEN, we reduce the direct medical expenses for the, the insurance providers of these families by upwards of 75% within the first 12 months. We were able to take that information to IEHP, the insurance provider for uh, locally San Bernardino, Riverside County, low-income families. So they started allowing their families to access the MEN program, which prior to that, they were not able to support. Without him having kind of 
injected the infrastructure to allow us to see some of these children, we may not have gotten to that point nearly as quickly. I were very thankful to Ken Ramirez for supporting the program and giving us a lot of help. And in turn, we are spreading the love to the kids who need it. A foundation in Chicago area contacted us because uh, they're struggling with some of the same things we are here in San Bernardino. It ultimately developed into um, us thinking about how could we provide a, a community-based version of MEN to Chicago. There's not many options for kids with chronic illness across the country, so because it works here, we want to make sure that this is something that other kids can have access to. It really has um, began to change the world much bigger than I ever anticipated. Be passionate about what it is that you want to do and, and believe in what it is and believe in yourself and, and the things that you can do and things will just fall into place. I can't thank those people enough for everything they did for, for my son. After the member we were all done, I felt not anxious, not scared, not, not angry. I was just feeling happier. Happy, happy, happy because of the men program. 